Taoiseach, uh, recently the Tornishta made references to uh, the possible uh, introduction of Uber, Uber, Uber into this country. Uh, and as the Irish Times uh, detailed over the weekend, uh, the origin of this uh, was John Moran, a former General Secretary, I think, of the Department of Finance, uh, lobbying former finance minister to put to essentially put Uber's plans uh, into the election manifesto of Fine Gael. Uh, now, um, I just want to know what's your attitude uh, to all of this, because, uh, you know, we, we had taxi drivers in this country absolutely hammered during COVID. Uh, it's still unclear if you're going to meet their demand to uh, do away with the 10-year rule, uh, which is a big problem for them given all the lost the income. Up. But the last thing they need now is Uber coming in and completely undermining uh, the taxi industry in this country Please at the behest the of uh, corporate lobbyists. Deputy, Paul Deputy Boyd Barrett raised the issue of Uber um, and, the, and I've read the articles that commend the Irish Times and the, all of the media concerned in terms of the articles and the um, revelations. I think it's important in terms of public discourse. But I think what's also important when you read it is that the lobbying is a fact of life. It, it, it happens in all shapes. And that doesn't have to be corporates. It can be NGOs. It can be individuals, it can be, it could be, and it can relate to anything in life, from sport to, to, to economics. Uh, some people, intermediaries, who, you know, very often, uh, you know, uh, companies feel the need to, to employ people um, to gain access to the political system. Um, many of us have had clinics for years and people walked in the door to see us. Um, but what I would say is that the system was robust on this one, which is kind of important. People can lobby doesn't mean they get their way, or it doesn't mean policy changes. And the NTA did not move. The government of the day didn't take the decision to grant access to Uber. Um, and uh, that, that is an important point. Um, no, there should always be full transparency, in my view. Um, and if people are lobbying, they should register the fact that they are lobbying. Um, and, um, but, but I think that, that's an important point in, 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 in relation to, to that issue. Uh, I think in terms, I think, sorry, the Minister for Public Expenditure is bringing in new legislation uh, to update our lobbying laws, <coughs> lobbying register, and in terms of garden leave and so on, there should be a, a reasonable distance between people being in very senior positions and then going into a lobbying role immediately after holding such senior positions. And there's competing rights and so on in terms of the individual and right turn and livelihood. It's not, it's not as simple. But transparency is a very important way of dealing with it. Um, and, uh, but the system did prove itself robust in resisting, uh, or not at least acceding to, the requests that were being made by those who were doing the lobbying. Uh, 